But Sheba, she had, she was a mom and wasn't willing to be the mom. Yeah. Do you understand? She was raped yeah. by King David. Yeah. And she had Solomon. Tell me God can't turn things around. Yes, the yes. very word we started off with, mm -hmm. Proverbs 31, was written by a man mm -hmm. whose mother was raped by the king. Mm -hmm. God can turn any situation around. Yes. We just got to trust him. Yes. Welcome to Kingdom Life Ministries International of Elizabethtown, Kentucky, headed by senior pastors Dr. Ray and Delillian Romero. On this auspicious Mother's Day, we are excited to have Pastor Linda Mary, Pastor DeLillian Romero and Pastor Cindy Rochester Johnson all share in today's broadcast. Today's scriptural focus is on women in general, and mothers in particular, and the impact and influence of women from a biblical perspective. To get things started, here now is Dr. A. Romero. Yeah, come on, give God a shout of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We celebrate the Lord today. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We also celebrate all you mothers. Glory to God. Amen. Those that are tuning in with us live today and those that are here with us. Glory to God. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. For the mothers that give life. Glory to God. Who raise our children. Who nurture them. We thank God. Hallelujah. So today's a great day. It's the day that we celebrate mothers yes and we give thanks god unto the unto them for them amen yes. so praise god so we thank y'all for joining us with us here today at kingdom life ministries international uh in elizabethtown kentucky uh we're going to be turning it over to our mothers here shortly yeah. uh they have a word for us that they uh are going to share uh so it's mother's day but i guess it's also women's day yeah. amen yeah. So, glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. And I think so many times we don't, uh, we, we kind of take mothers for granted. Uh, they're always there. Uh, their love is unconditional. Glory to God. Um, they're the ones that, that really uh, keep us in line um, uh, in, in so many ways. And sometimes we don't like it, but. Glory to God. That's what they do. Amen? Yeah, right. And so, praise God. So, I thank God for my wife, Pastor Lillian, who uh, yeah. really Pretty. just kind of keeps our kids in line uh, all the time. Praise God. So, hallelujah. Amen? Praise God. So, Amen. praise God. So, uh, as um, Bishop comes up and Pastor Newson come up and open us up, open us up like they always do, I'm going to open up with Psalms 27, and it says this. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Hallelujah. And then Psalms 28, verse 1 says, Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Amen. Hear the voice of my supplications yes. when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards thy holy um, holy oracle. Yes. Draw me not away with thy wicked or with the workers of iniquity, which spake peace unto their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Yes. Hallelujah. So we call on the Lord. Amen. We cry yes. unto the Lord. We give thanks unto the Lord. Yes. And as long as we have the Lord on our side, the word says, Whom shall I fear? Yes. What shall I fear? Yes. Is there anything Nothing. that will cause Nothing. me to fear? Nothing. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. Well, glory to God. And the answer is no. no. Amen. No. Glory no. to God. It's no. Yeah. We're not afraid. Because the Lord is our rock. He's our salvation. Yes. He's our strength. Hallelujah. He's the one that restores us. He's the one uh, that that um, provides for us. He's the one that meets all our needs. And we thank God for yes, that. Amen. Yeah. So, glory to God. We're going to go ahead, get started, turn it over. Bishop, you coming up? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor, you took my book. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 
Sunday. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's okay. It's completely fine because we stay. We're gonna stay right there in that same ground. It will be because I believe that the Lord has called us to a day of Thanksgiving, a, a, a day of worship, a day of praise, a day of worship. And so, in that, in that friend, we we'll continue Psalms 34. All right. I will bless the Lord. This, this, this is a choice. This is a choice. This is a choice. And all, all the rest of the stuff is happening. Mm -hmm. The Lord has given us a choice this morning. Right. Okay? Yeah. We can look around and we can sing. We can sing all oh, 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 for pitiful me. We can look around at all the life that's happening around us and, and be concerned. We can look around and, 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 and look at what we don't have and, and look and look and look and look and decide. Or we can bless the Lord. Right. Or we can bless the Lord. And so I decide, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. At all times, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. No poor pillow for me. I'm going to praise the Lord. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear of it and be glad. Amen. All the like spirits, all those like spirits shall decide like, like me that we're just not going to be defeated. We're just not going to be defeated. We are the Lord. We're not on the, 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 we're not on the Lord. I mean, the Lord is not on our side, but we're on his side, which is more important than his being on our side. Because if we're on his side, we're absolutely quick. My side can get screwed up every now and then. But if I'm on his side, then I'll make sure that, that, that I'm okay. My, 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 my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. My humble shall hear but be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Make him bigger than make him bigger than our problems. All right now. Make him bigger than our problems. We decided to make him bigger than our problems today. Yes. Magnify the Lord with me and exalt his name together. Yeah. He's bigger than that. He's higher than that. Yeah, these problems are in my life. Yeah, these things are facing me. Yeah, these, 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 these things are real. But I am magnifying the Lord. I'm exalting his name above all those things. Mm -hmm. I sought the Lord and he heard me yeah. and delivered me yeah. from all of my fears. Praise mm -hmm. God. Praise Some of the troubles still stayed there. Some of the situations in my life still stayed there. But I ain't afraid of him no more because Amen. I know he's bigger than those things. I know that he's, he's the creator and that I stand behind him. So he's the creator, there's creation, and I stand behind the creator. So all those things that are happening to me, I, I don't have to fear them. Even though they're still there. Uh, my eyes are closed, my, my eyes are wide open. I can see them plainly, but I know that he is bigger than that. Right. I'm extolling him, I'm exalting him above all those things that happen in, 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 in my life. There's a reason for that. They looked upon him, and their faces and, and, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. And what happened at the end of it? This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him. And that's what, and, 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 and that's what happened. That's what happened at the end of it. At, at, the, at the end of it, I cried. I prayed the prayer of faith, which is not my prayer, but I prayed to the one who was faithful. I prayed to the one who's faithful. This poor man, me, me, Bill, 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 Bill cried. And the Lord heard him and oh, saved him God. out of all, all of them. his troubles. Praise okay? God. All Praise of them. God. So I can thank the yeah. Lord for it. I can thank the Lord for it. I can thank the Lord for it. I can bless the Lord for it. And Father God, we thank you for this day. Thank you, Father. We thank you for this day for our mothers. We thank you for this day for our lives. We thank you for all the things you've done, Brother. We thank you that you've blessed us this day. As we come before you in praise and in worship, Father, I lift it up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this week that you've taken us to. You protect us over the highways. You protected our children, allow them to come and go safely, Father. You kept them and you kept us, and we bless you for everything you are. Thank you, Father. And for this reason, for a million more that we can name, we will extol you. And our praises shall continually be in our mouth. Your praises. Your praises yes. so continue to be in our mouths. Yes. We will extol you on everything because we cried to you. We cried to you and you heard us. Oh. Took away all of our fears because we know that you're bigger than that. We've exalted you so we know you're bigger than that. And you've taken away all of our troubles because we know that in you, Father God, is deliverance. And so Praise we thank God. you for that. And we walk in that deliverance. We walk in that insurance. We walk in that praise. We walk in that worship. We thank you, Father God, for all you are. We pray this prayer, and we submit this, this praise, this worship before you. In the name of our risen Lord, our Savior, and our Redeemer, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, wow. Awesome. Awesome. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to everybody sitting in the building and welcome to Kingdom Life Ministries yes. International yes. led by senior pastor, uh, Pastor Reynard and the Ligian Romero. Amen. Mm -hmm. This morning it is fitting that we read Proverbs 31 mm -hmm. yes, because yes. this particular um, <laughs> poem, poem is a poem, the end of this text is a poem about a wife of noble character. Mm -hmm. But you would imagine that's, the, that's how God thinks of women. Amen. Yes. All right. Amen. Every Amen. woman can be crafted to that mold. Amen. Yes. That's why the text is the older generation should teach the younger generation yes. how things should be done. Amen. Yes. 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 So we're gonna read the text then. Without any further ado, we're not gonna we're not gonna procrastinate, but let's read the text with you. Yes. Yes. I'm reading yes. from the NIV version. I'm gonna read the whole passage because it's due. To all women here, yes, yes, uh, yes. those that are already married, those that are already married, uh, a wife or mother, and those soon to be a wife or mother. Yes, amen. amen. So this is what the text says in verse ten: A wife of noble character who can who can find is a question mm. to be asked today. Ooh. Who can find? Yes, she is worth more than rubies. Yes, amen. Her husband has full full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, yes. all the days of her life. Yes. She selects wool and flax and works with yes. eager hands. Yes. Proverbs 31. Yeah. She's like the merchant ships, bringing her good, her food from afar. She sets up, she said, gets up while it's still night. Yes. She provides food for her family. And portions for her female servant. Thank you, Lord. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She gets, she sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. She sees that her trading is profitable. Yes. And her lamp does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds this the distaff. And grasps the spindle with her fingers. She opens up her arm to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. Yes. When it snows, she has no fear for her household. For all of them are clothed in scarlet. Man. Glory to God. She makes covering for her bed. She's clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected in the city gate. Yes, yes. While he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linens. Linen garment and sells them and supplies the merchant with sashes. With sashes, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at, at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithfulness. Yes. And faithful instruction is in her tongue. Mm. She watches over the affairs of her household yes. and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed. Yes. Her husband also. And he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you suppress them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Yes. Honor mm -hmm. her for all her hands have done, and let her works bring her praise at the city gates. Amen. May God bless the hearers and doers of this word. Amen. 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 I cannot add to this, right? Amen. This is a poem all unto itself. It is a... May God bless you who are watching on today. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Amen. 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 speaking for a long time, so I just make notes on my phone. That's good but what he was saying, what Brother Nissan was saying about the Proverbs 31 woman could apply to all of us yes. in various areas. Yes, she so. was an entrepreneur, yeah. she was a homemaker, she was a wife, she was, you know, a busy, busy, busy woman. 
And back then they didn't have a microwave, so let's keep that in mind also. Right, right. <laughs> that means something, okay? Right. Yes, <laughs> but yes, um, yes, I kept asking, well, Lord, now what do you want me to say on Sunday? Mm -hmm. And I only got one word. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was in my mind. It kept coming to my mind, Deborah. Glory to God. Excellent. Glory to God. So I'm like, Excellent. Oh, okay. Yes, I got that hint. I'll take that Holy yes, Spirit. And so Deborah, you'll find uh, the story of Deborah in the Old Testament in the book of Judges, mm -hmm. especially chapters 4 and 5. And uh, so I'm going to read some of this. Mm -hmm. But the, the story of Deborah in the Bible shows us that the Lord calls ordinary people do extraordinary things that can only be accomplished through the Spirit. Amen. Deborah was a busy woman, just like the Proverbs 31 woman was. Amen. And Judges 4, verse 5 <coughs> said she held court under the palm of Deborah mm -hmm. between Ramah and Bethel in the yes. hill country of Ephraim. And the Israelites went up to her to have their disputes decided. So she was so well known, they named a palm tree after her. This is Deborah's palm tree. Amen. She's holding court up here, okay? She was a woman of great wisdom, revelation, discernment. Uh, she also had a prophetic gift, okay? Including knowing the times and the seasons of the Lord. She clearly heard the voice of the Lord. Judges 5, verse 12 says, Wake up, wake up, Deborah, wake up, wake up. Break out the song. Four times he told her to wake up. And I think that the reason that the Lord told her four times to wake up, that was indicative of the condition that Israel was in. Yes. They had been in captivity again for their disobedience again. Yeah. You know, God bless the Israelites. They just, there was a bunch of disobedient people and, right. and brought a lot of sorrow on themselves. Mm -hmm. But they had been asleep again. And they had been asleep again. And again, and again. And so the Lord is saying, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It is time to rise up and do something. Amen. And uh, I would say that to you today and to all of us sisters here in the church. It's time to wake up. It's time to do something. God is calling us to do something. Anyway, the verse continues. Wake up, wake up, break out the song. Arise, Barak. Barak was the general of the army. Take captive your captives, son of Abinoam. Deborah and Barak needed to wake up and arise to a new revelation and a new dimension to their calling. And I think that in this end time day and age that we're living in, it's time for us to wake up and become aware of the new calling uh, that, that that's going forth to the Deborahs and the Baraks of our land, of the kingdom of God. The Lord was telling them to be alert and pay attention as he was about to move in an extraordinary way. Judges 5, 7 says, villagers in Israel would not even fight. They had just rolled over and bellied up, as the old saying goes about, oh, rolled over and bellied up. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't fight for themselves. They were down and out, beaten down, discouraged, Saw no hope. Woe, woe, woe is Israel. Woe is all of us. But it says they would not fight and they held back until I, Deborah, arose. Until I arose a mother in Israel. Of all the things Deborah could have legitimately called herself, judge, prophetess, deliverer, intercessor, worshiper, she chose to call herself a mother. And she was first and foremost a mother. That was her primary calling in life as, because that's what she identified herself as. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people can tell what we think about ourselves by how we identify ourselves. Mm -hmm. What words do we speak over <coughs> ourselves? What do we say when someone says, who are you, what do you do? Do you say, oh, well, uh, I'm so-and-so and I'm a, a nurse, I'm a doctor. Uh, I'm a soldier. Is that what you are? What is your most, let's boil down all those things that can be stripped away so quickly. And what are you? You're a mother. Okay? Amen. So, in being a mother, that also can be stripped away 
through death of children, through barrenness, uh, infertility, and so forth. But we are still called to be mothers. If we can't be a mother to a child of our own, we can be a mother to somebody else's child. Amen. Even if they're almost our age, we can mother them. Amen. We have mothers in the church, as the saying goes. And so there's, there's a calling for the mothers in the church to mother over the younger ones in the body of Christ. But to my sisters, I just want you to say, or just want you to know, rise up and be a Deborah. Yes. Amen. Let's be a Deborah. And in Isaiah 60, verses 1 and 2, it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, dark, see darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. The time is for us to begin praying, perhaps, for the mantle of Deborah to be placed around our shoulders. First, to go forth and be a mighty, fierce warrior in the kingdom, in the spirit realm. Because we've got troublesome days ahead of us, but we will be delivered. We will be kept safe. If you could just imagine a raging warrior woman with a sword in her hand and blood smeared on her face going forth and fighting. That's what you would do for your own children. If a bear was going to attack your kids, would you sit back and watch it uh, carry your kids from limb to limb? You'd go in there and you'd fight that bear. You'd know he's going to die, perhaps, but you go fight that bear for your child, yes. for, for the children. Okay, and so today we need to fight for the children, the children of the king, the children of the kingdom of God um, that is yet to even be birthed. Those children may not even be here yet. They may still be in the womb. They may still be just a little egg somewhere. But I'm just saying, mm -hmm. it's time for us to rise up and begin to mother the kingdom, even if we don't like it. There's sometimes we don't like our own kids. Sometimes you're like, well, you, know, you know, I look. That was a really loud amen. <laughs> amen. Yeah. Amen. I can understand that. Uh, but there's times we don't like. Yeah, but you always love them. There's times you don't like your kids, but you love them. Same thing, you go to church, you'd be like, oh, I don't like what so-and-so did. I don't like that, don't like that. But you don't reject the whole person because of something they did. Mm -hmm. You love them anyway. Yes. And you right. defend them in the kingdom and, and, and in the spirit realm. So, again, I just want to encourage you to be a Deborah, to begin praying for the mantle of Deborah, to rise upon you, fall upon you. And uh, God bless you, and happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. Who's next, Sister Linda? like it is on a Father's Day. Amen. Every day is a Father's Day, if you always say. <laughs> so every day is a Mother's Day. <laughs> and uh, I, I was dealing more on the levels of love, mm -hmm. an irreplaceable mother. Oh, you know, man. you cannot, yeah. you cannot replace a mother, no, yeah. matter, no matter who they are, yeah. or what they are, or yeah. what they have been, but they are who they are. They are the women of God. And even though some of them might not even serve God, but you know what? They're still a mother. Amen. 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 And in their hearts, they still have everything in them with the love. And so this morning, I was reading through some of my stuff. And um, I do a lot of my reading in the morning hours. But uh, anyway, I had gotten this one thing. And it says... Um, Moms are irre irreplaceable. In You're other right. words, you can never replace her. No. Okay. Right. Your mom is your mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not calling her a mother. I'm calling her a mom today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. No matter who she is, nobody can replace her. Nobody, nobody. can nobody. do half. No. Half. Of the things she does no. or has done for you Amen. and for us. Right. Amen. Amen. Nobody can That's compare right. her. Nobody can com compare to her. No. Okay? Nobody. Only God can love more than she does. Amen. So, 
Only God can love you more than she does. She is the only person that matters the most. I'm reading, I'm reading a poem. Uh, she, can, she can go any length for you. And nothing is so strong as the love of a mother. Right. She carried you for nine months. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's going to kind of get, be a little different. She's carried you for nine months mm -hmm. in, in the womb. Had to change her. It changed her. It changed her outfits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm getting on the, on the natural side here. Yeah. And for you to be in shape. Yeah. Okay. She had to change her taste of food. Mm. Come on. <laughs> so that you can be healthy. So you. <laughs> she carried you carefully. Yeah. And even when you came to this world, she never stopped caring for you. Hey. Okay. Mm -hmm. She took care of you. Even when you was laying on your back and you couldn't do nothing, you was just a baby. Yes. Thank you. And she even feds you, and she nourishes you. She spends most of her, all of her life caring for you after, and after you, after your birth. She has stretch marks. Well, and she gained a lot of weight. Well, yeah. and she had, and it says, but she didn't mind it because she loved you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. She did all for her babies. And then it goes on to say that she can, um, let's see, I lost my place, okay. And so she takes care of you. And then it says she spends most of her life caring for you after, after your birth. She has stretch marks and things, so we think that. Let me go on back to her. <laughs> My, my pictures keep on sliding away. Okay, <laughs> so let me go back again. Okay, and she was with you, and she took care of you. She was there on your first step. She was there on your first words, and then your first word was mama. All right. Okay, and she never forsook you, never. Even when you were at your worst, even when you were at your worst, y'all, she was there. She never forsook you. And it says, because no matter how big you have grown, you are still her baby. Amen. Moms mm -hmm. are irreplaceable, and they are the best. A little mistake they could have made when you were younger will de determine our life. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, even it could affect us physically, mentally, or emotionally. But here, we are strong as ever. We are still here. We're still strong. We have learned. We have came from a lot of areas of what our mother has put into us. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your moms. Mm -hmm. um, they are angels in human form, mm -hmm. he says. They are angels in human form. Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we, we know that we need to appreciate our moms today. We should never, we should never think any differently mm -hmm. of our mothers. And then I had a prayer here, um, a word from Romans 12, 12. And this is all in the mother. It says, let, let your hope make you glad. Mm -hmm. So let your mother make you glad. Okay. Be patient in time of troubles. That's where the mother is. She's patient during those times and troubles. And she never stops praying for her children. Amen? Amen. So we, we should not ever, ever thank a mother any less. Any less. In 1 Corinthians 13, which we know is a love chapter, it, we use a lot in weddings. And we use it a lot in just the love. But today, let's use it in the, in the love of the mother. You know, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 7. I think that's where I want to go. It says here, it says, um, she bears all things. That ain't what it says. But I mean, it says, bears all things, but she, 
She bears all things. She believes all things. She hopes all things. And she endures all things. So that's all in the mother. So her love never fails. Amen. Okay. Jesus' love never fails. Amen. Okay. So we, we know that. And but any and I was liking this, and I want to put a little twist to this a little bit. It's scripture, okay? I, I, I'll twist it up just a little bit, okay? And it says, um, I'm not taking this away from it. I'm just going to add to it. And it says, um, but love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, when your mother makes a prophecy over you, she knows what's going on with you, you know, and that never fails. And then whether um, their tongues and they will cease. She will cease your tongue. Okay, she will cease it for you. Okay, yes, she will put that axe to it. And then uh, whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. So here's the thing is a mother's knowledge never vanishes away. It stays, and she knows. She knows her children. I don't care how big you are, how old you are, how young you are, or how twisted you are, or whatever. But she still knows who you are. She knows who you are. So today, talking about mother, which is a greatest gift. The mother is a great gift. And we should honor our mothers today. Yeah. We should honor the women of God today, no matter who they are. Yeah. And, you know, and looking looking up and knowing that God put mothers here on earth just so we have someone to lead us and guide us just like Jesus. Right. She's just in the natural body. Come on. Jesus, you know, he's leading and guiding us with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. But a mother is down here to lead and guide us in the natural. And so today, let's appreciate. So if you have a mother out there, Facebook Live, Ooh. appreciate her, show her, tell her, give her whatever you have, and if that's your heart and your love for today, if nothing else, a phone call, a word, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm talking to all of us, but and I'm sure all of us here today will do the same thing. Right. But the thing of is, 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 you know, if we have that, then we need to treasure that. Amen. Amen. And she's not here, and she's gone. And praise God, she's somewhere, but she's still looking down, and she's saying, you know what, that's my child. All right. That's the one I had. That's the one I raised. That's the one that's carrying on. That's the one that I raised to be where she's at today, Amen. or he is at today. So I, that was my word today, mm -hmm. is that a mother's love is still, is still here. Mm -hmm. It never changes. Amen. So I thank God for this morning mm -hmm. and for our mother. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. okay, Father God, we just thank you for this morning. Yeah. And Lord God, we thank you that you have put into us the love that we are to endure. We are to endure from the beginning to the end. And Lord God, love is always, it never quits. Mm -hmm. It's always there. So Lord God, we thank you putting that into our lives, into our hearts, mm -hmm. and knowing that we know that you have felt for us, you have fought for us, you have loved us, you have steered us, guided us, directed us. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we thank you for this great and wonderful day and that you've given us that we can make, that we can make good things happen today. Mm -hmm. And Lord God, we know that you already made good things. Mm -hmm. We are here today. We are part of your good and great gifts. Yes. And Lord God, we thank you for putting these things into us, putting the word into us, mm -hmm. that we are able to minister and to give out mm -hmm. and to pour out mm -hmm. our hearts today, that the word today that comes across, that it would be a word to encourage. It would be a word to, to move mountains. It would be a word that, that heals the body, heals the heart. It would be a word that that transforms a person from from one place to the other. Lord God, that we can we can just look up and know that we are delivered from everything. And Lord God, because you are our deliverer, you are our healer, and you are our miracle worker, and you are the 
one that says, I keep all my promises. Yes. And I never change. Mm -hmm. I'm the same today, yesterday, and forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I thought Pastor Ray, he's making a move like he's coming up. Oh, That's the that second or third time he's made that move like he's coming up. But us sisters, we just keep running up here. So glory to God. I'm Lillian Romero, and glory to God. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. And uh, I, just, uh, I just give God all the honor and glory today. Yeah. Now, Pastor Newsom, yeah. Proverbs 31. Yeah. Sister Cindy. Yeah. Judges. Come on. Deborah. Yeah. Glory to God. And Sister Linda. Uh-huh. First uh, Corinthians, the love chapter. Right. They're all in my notes. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. So God uh -huh. orchestrated this day. Yeah. But uh, I just praise God for the word of God mm -hmm. that just uh, keeps encouraging sisters. And I don't know if you know it, but mothers, you know, I love Mother's Day, but I always include women. Happy Mother's Day. And to all the women that have a womb, mm -hmm. okay? Because nowadays, it's under attack because men are trying to grab that, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. It, it is now we are standing at a time in life where a woman is, her being a woman, is being challenged yeah. by other people that want to say they're women, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So I recognize this day as mothers and women that have a womb. Amen. Because not every woman has had a child yes. like Sister Linda, Amen. whom I dearly love. Because uh, she loves just like a mother. Absolutely. But she didn't have any children. Yes. I know several people that have loved just like a mother, will fight Sister Linda, will fight for my kids like I will. I mean, but she didn't bear any children. So I just hate excluding women yes. during this time because they didn't bear children. Okay, because everything that God put in women is in a woman, whether you are uh, bear children or not. Yes. So I'm honoring all women, whether you've had children or not, whether you're going to or whatever. If you have all the parts that God gave you, glory to God, this is your day. Amen. And uh, right now, I, I just thought about, you know, we're here honoring mothers. And I don't know if you realize it. Mothers are going through a great deal right now. Yes, they are. Mothers are burying children early. Yes, they are. Mothers are having addiction problems. Mothers are in situations where they're raising grandchildren. Mothers are having a very hard time. Yeah. So I praise God for uh, Proverbs 31 because it gives you an idea of what we need to strive for. Yeah. But in the midst of striving for those great things to be landowners and take care of properties and take care of those that were. We still need to bring those sisters in that have not actually come in because of poverty or brokenness or whatever it is. We got to keep on reminding them that the goodness of God is within them if they would receive it. Amen. And I think about the mothers that have buried children. I almost lost a son. To gun violence. I mean, and there are so many women waking up today, and they're they're. It's true, mother. It's true. It's still true. Can I get back? Amen. Amen. Um. Oh, I got one. Yes, ma'am. It's true. They are mourning. Yes, they are. The loss of children. Mm -hmm. When our children should be burying us. Mm -hmm. They are losing their children to drugs and all these things. So while we're honoring mothers, know that there are some women out here that are hurt, that are broken. When I was growing up, we used to wear the little white flower. If our mothers had passed, this might have been just in the Baptist church. And if you wore a red flower, if your mother was alive. My mother's not here. Yeah. And I, I honor her today. Yes. And I am... A replica of her, That's right. you know, and I praise God that I had a godly mother yeah. to be able to influence me. I had godly grandmothers that influenced me, but there's so many that don't have that, yeah. and so us sisters have to come along 
and love on these sisters, these young ones. I got sisters that we just call people and love on them. Just like Sister Linda said, you text them. I got a sister that I shop with. Her name is Kara Sue. And she's the one that uh, advised me to uh, contact my insurance company when I had my car accident. Now, I just see her at the shop. She rides a bike, and she came to my mind the other day. And I called her because she's planning her daughter's wedding. And she's been stressed out, and I see her in my store, and I hadn't seen her in a while. And the Lord said, call Carol Sue. And I called Carol Sue, and she picked up. And I said, Carol Sue, this is the Lillian. And she just started laughing. I said, hey, you just came to mind, and I know you're getting ready for a wedding, and I know it's stressed, a stressful time, but I want you to know that somebody's thinking about you. And I encouraged her to relax, to help her daughter relax, stop stressing out, and things like that. She, was, she got up and she said, thank you for just thinking about me. And it's one thing to think about somebody, but it's another thing to act on it. I mean, whether it's somebody from your past, Brothers, sisters Amen. that have blessed you, a mother figure, a sister, call them, text them, let them know that you appreciate whatever they did in your life. Amen. But I had brought up the virtuous. Virtuous means showing moral standards. And then I had brought in uh, Deborah and Hannah. Who, who prayed and believed for Eli. You know, some of this, mothering ain't an easy thing. Sometimes it's hard to be a mother. It's hard to get pregnant, to have babies. It's hard to keep believing for the babies. It's hard to, and yes, my daughter just asked me, uh, Sister Linda was talking about a mother bear, and she said, would you? I said, you know, I'd rip, I'd take my hair off and rip somebody's head off. <laughs> but you know, a mother is a mother, amen? And Eli, uh, Hannah had a hard time. We watch our children go through things like um, Moab, Moab, Samson's mom. She had to watch him make wrong decisions and continue to believe God for him, amen? Sarah uh, and Elizabeth, both of them, you know, they had to believe God for babies, amen? It's, it's, it's not just, I'm, I'm growing up as a child and thinking anybody can get pregnant. But that's not true. As you live long enough, there are women that are struggling to be mothers. There are these sisters struggle to be a mother. Jacobed's mother had to watch another woman raise his child. Do you understand? There are things that put women in a hard place. Some women have to give up their child because they cannot uh, uh, raise the child. So they give the child up to, for adoption. But guess what? They're still missing that child. Yes. Okay. I, I uh, uh, my testimony is, is in college I got pregnant and I didn't have the baby, and I thank God for allowing me to be able to mother four children. Mm -hmm. Now, if that was a man, he'd be like, "No, you didn't have that baby that I sent before, and no, I'm not going to allow you to be a mother." But we serve a God that is able to make up the difference when we fall short. And I just praise God for that. And my baby, I'm, I'm a, she's in heaven. Her name is uh, genre. Like genre. Like the genre of poetry and music and dance and all that. And glory to God, all my children are artistic. Mm. Is that not something? Because the Lord, I, I was allowed to know that it was a girl and her name is Genre. I gave her a name. So uh, it's just so many things that women are going through to be mothers. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Mary watched her son yes. be crucified. You got Eve who had to live with the fact that her son killed her son. Yes. Amen. There's so many things that go on. And as mothers, we try to hold all things together. Mm -hmm. And we can't. And that's the thing. I want to encourage the sisters. Anybody watching, women, just know that you can only do so much. And then you got to trust God. Sister Linda. Amen. Sister Linda. You got me? All right. Because <laughs> we are. Sister Cindy. We got children doing all kinds of things. We got children doing all kinds of things. And we got to stay steadfast and unmovable and believe. Because Sister Linda just told you. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Okay. And if he delivered them, yeah. glory to God, we have Saul that was killing Christians. Yeah. 
And he became one of the biggest soul winners. Mm -hmm. So whatever your child is doing, wherever your family is that's lost, know that God can turn it around in an instant. And we don't have anything to do with it mm -hmm. other than praying and believing God. Mm -hmm. We can't make it happen because we used to go to the Lord's kitchen and serve the homeless. And I used to say all the time, if we could have changed it, we would have. Yeah. But we can't change things. We can believe God to change things. Amen. 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 So glory to God. Uh, the heartbreak of Eve. Uh, Samson's mom's heartbreak. He's dating the wrong woman. Um, Hannah. Believing and believing for uh, Eli. Glory to God. We got uh, Jochebed, Moses' mother. Bathsheba. She had. She was a mom and wasn't willing to be the mom. Yeah. Do you understand? She was raped yeah. by King David. Yeah. And she had Solomon. Tell me God can't turn things around. Yes, the does. very word we started off with, mm -hmm. Proverbs 31, was written by a man mm -hmm. whose mother was raped by the king. Mm -hmm. God can turn any situation around. Yeah. We just got to trust him. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, I think about um, uh, Timothy. Timothy, they refer to Lois and Enos. Did I say it right? Enos. Eunice. 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 And how they refer, they're not even in the city now, but they refer to them because they were godly. Yes. Mm -hmm. They refer to them because he had a history. Yes. And so some of us sisters that don't have, that have friends around that are not saved, that are not serving, we need to be that Lois and Eunice in their lives. Amen. We got to sow into people's lives. So basically, we got Mary and uh, Martha. Did either one of them get married? Not do we know. I don't think so. Not do we know. But they serve God. Yes. Amen. They serve God. Joanne, serve God. Amen. Yes. Put money in. Uh, Joanne, help fund Jesus' ministry. Yes, Serving. Esther, change the nation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think I saw that she had children, but she changed the whole nation. Amen. Yeah. So it's, yeah, all of Jerusalem. So see, we got people like Sister Linda that had had a child could change the whole nation. Yes, Amen. Yes. So don't count out. This is yeah. all about yeah. women. Yeah. Women that are able to love beyond uh, what we see, yeah. to love beyond what's going on, to trust God. And that's where we need to be. And basically, that's, I, I just need you to be aware that every woman out here is going through something. Mm -hmm. If it's menopause, if it's whatever it is, amen, I'm 60 years old, things change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Things change. But God will never change. Yeah. He said he'll never leave us or forsake us. So whatever's going on in that se uh, season in your life, God is able and he's willing and he's there to help us, to change us, to work with us. Amen? Amen. So that we can be that life changer for somebody else. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we need to be about. Amen? And I just, this Mother's Day, I woke up, my heart was heavy. Just thinking about all the, the women. All the mothers that are grieving today yes. because their child cannot celebrate them today. No. Because their child is not here. Maybe not in the right no, no. place. Not no. not even in the location. Maybe not living. Mm -hmm. And they can't even celebrate them. No. So we cannot, as a mom, I don't take this for granted. I don't take it for granted. And I praise God for it. And I just pray that sisters will begin to rely on other sisters trust God, and just just trust God. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, again, love never fails. Amen. Love never fails. The love, and not every child has had a great mom, mm -hmm. but God can turn that around, because mm -hmm. he is a father to the fatherless. Amen? Right. Amen? And if he can do that, he can be a mother to the motherless. Amen? Amen? And we just need to trust God even the more, and don't assume that it's a happy Mother's Day for everybody. All right? Yeah. It's not. Sometimes it's not. And sometimes when you almost make somebody cry yeah. because you say something, you might need to take a moment and just speak into their lives. Yesterday I was in the store, my, my last little testimony, in the store talking to a veteran. Didn't know she was a veteran. Had this colorful tattoo on, and my family likes tattoos. I'm the only one not tattooed. 
but they, it was beautiful, and I commented on it, and she told me she served, and she said her daughter was serving, and, you know, she just, and there was something that happened, mm -hmm. and I was just telling her, asking her, does she get her, get her benefits? I'm always asking military people, are they getting their benefits? Mm -hmm. And uh, she was saying yes, and something happened that I don't even remember, and she says, can I hug you? Mm -hmm. I thought, wow, yeah. yes, yeah. hug me. Let me hug you. Yeah. And it just blessed me. And just like now, it brings tears to my eyes. But you just never know. Yes. And I told her, she said, her daughter's in California. I said, you need to go see her. She said, well, she keeps saying, I said, no. What else do you have to do? Go visit your daughter. She's serving. You serve. You know what that's like, being away from your family. If you can go, go. And before she left, she hugged me. And who knows what that did for her. Well, it bought me up. I wasn't even down, but it just took me up a whole nother level. Wow. But uh, yeah. you just never know. Yeah. So when you're speaking to a woman today yeah. and you're honoring her, then just know that sometimes she might be going through. Right. You know, and just encourage her. Speak life to her. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 31 is a active word. Amen. There's a lot of things going on. And some women, some sisters need to be guided in that way. Mm -hmm. I can I can use Sister Linda. Because even guided in that way for businesses. Mm -hmm. She got a sister starting a business. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we need to guide each other in different directions. Mm -hmm. So that's my word. My word is to encourage you. Proverbs 31. Nita, yes. are you ready to read it? Proverbs 31. Nita's going to read it. My only girl, my seed, she's going to read it again for us to close out the service. And I think you're going to turn it, uh, give it to uh, Pastor uh, Ray to close out. Are you wanting my Bible? Yeah. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isn't this wonderful? We live on TV. And I thought you were coming up with it. Oh, the good yeah. wife. Who can find her? Hallelujah. God Hallelujah. bless you. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm going to start at the beginning. <laughs> okay, uh, Proverbs 31, a good wife. Who can find a virtuous woman? Yes. For her pride is far above rubies. Her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband do safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. Thanks. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Yes. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ship. She bring she bringeth her food from afar. She rises rises also mm -hmm. while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buy it. With the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. She gird, girdeth, girdeth mm -hmm. her loins with strength, and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretch, stretches out her hand to the poor, yet she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for, the, for her household, for all her households are clothed with gar scarlet. She maketh herself co coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excel, excellest <laughs> them all. Yes. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Yes. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Amen, amen. amen. Glory, to God. Glory to God. Before Pastor Ray comes up, I just wanted to pray. Amen. And there are so many single moms out there. There are men, mothers that are struggling. There are mothers that are having children, and the children are being taken away because they can't take care of them. There's a lot of things going on. 
Amen. And we pray. So, Father God, we thank you right now for this day. We thank you, Father God, that, yes, it's a happy Sunday, yes. Father God. We pray right now for the mothers, for the women, dear Lord, that are having a hard time right now. We pray, dear Lord, that needs are met. We thank you that they come into a fellowship with you, Father God, an intimate relationship with you, Father God. We pray, dear Lord, that you would provide and meet every need that they have. We thank you, Father God, and come against sickness and disease and, and just loneliness and just all the things that, that, that the devil would just pour on them to make them feel like they're not worthy. Father God, we thank you because they are fearfully and wonderfully made. And we thank you, dear Lord, that you would use us, Father God, to encourage, to uh, speak life into sisters, Father God, to speak life and to do more, Father God. Thank you, dear Lord, that we hear your voice and that we will answer, that we will respond in the way that you've called us to respond with love and with action. And we thank you that we are moved by the Holy Ghost to be more than just cheerleaders, but we are actively doing things for the advancement of the kingdom of God. We thank you, Father God, for mothers. We thank you, Father God, for what you put in them. We thank you, Father God, for the sisters. We thank you, Father God, for all that you're doing. And we continue to believe and trust you for more and great things as we yield to you to be used in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. 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 Glory to God. We're going to have Dr. Pastor Ray Romero, who has blessed me with flowers and perfume mm -hmm. and all kind of things. And it's my boo. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. 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 Well, praise God. A lot of great words of encouragement today. Uh, the word of God is always true. Hallelujah. And so we thank God for our presenters today here on Mother's Day. Glory to God. So I want to encourage everybody just to celebrate uh, somebody in your life today. Celebrate your mother, uh, your daughter, um, aunt, uh, niece, sisters, sisters you know. Uh, just send them, send them a text message. You know, say, hey, I appreciate you. You know, my sister, she um, spent a lot of time raising us. Okay, mom had to work trying to raise five of us. So it was my sister who was there, you know, um, trying to do the best that she could do. Again, with uh, three boys, and, you know, difficult situation. Is how much older than you? She's only like maybe about five years older than me, you know. So praise God. Uh, Proverbs 1, 8 and 9 says, pay close attention, my children, to your father's wise words and never forget your mother's instructions for their insight will bring you success adorning you with grace filled thoughts and giving you reins to guide your decision so your mother's instructions uh, puts reins on you guides you uh, to be successful amen glory to God uh, moms are really, really good at that. Glory to God. I know, I know sometimes we're like, man, mom be on me all the time. Okay, mom. But I'm telling you, some of that stuff you're going to take and you're going to use when it's time for you to raise your kids. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 66, 13 says, As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the Lord compares his comfort to us as the comfort of of a mother. Mm -hmm. Isn't that deep? Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 49, 15 says, Can a mother forget her nursing child? Never. No. Can she feel no love for the child she has born? No. Glory to God. So, you're forever. You're forever on your mother's mind. You're forever in your mother's heart. Yes. Always. Always. Amen. Amen. Always. Glory to God. Always. Always. All the time. Glory to God. Deuteronomy 6, 6 and 7 says, And the words that I command you today shall be on your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children, yes. and you shall talk of them when you sit in your house, yes. and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. Amen. Amen. Mother is always giving you the word. Amen. Amen. Always, my, my kids are coming to me because, you know, I'm trying to give them some insight, some understanding. 
Uh, not Pastor Delillian. Pastor Delillian's going to give you the word. This is what I have. This is what I'm going to give you. Okay. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Psalms 139, 13 and 14 says, For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Yes. Amen. That tells me that God doesn't make no mistakes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So you might look at yourself and you might say, well, you know what? Man, I, 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 I wish I would have been born this way. I wish I would have looked this way. Or I wish I would have been taller or skinnier or whatever it might be, smarter. Whatever. But God says, I formed you. I knew exactly who you were. Amen. 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 So there cannot be, and there is a whole lot of confusion in the world today. Okay? Men wanting to be women. Women wanting to be men. Okay? It's virtually impossible. I don't care what your psyche says. I don't care what you emotionally feel or think. All that doesn't matter. No. He says here, for I formed, uh, for you formed my inward parts. Okay? You formed me. You created me. The way that you created, the way that I was born is the way that you created me. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I know the world is telling us we need to have tolerance and patience and work with people. And, you know, I know the world is telling us, and I know our jobs will tell us that too. Amen. I know our jobs will tell us. And there's a, a, a certain restraint that we have to have even on, on our jobs. Amen. Right. Uh, I work for the school system. And we got little girls that want to look like little boys. All right. And we got little boys that. And I just be like, well, what do you want me to call you? Okay, but I said, I call him, hey, brother. Well, well, I'm a girl. Okay, hey, sister. Okay, I don't know how you look like a boy to me, so that's what I'm calling you. Okay, so it's it's one of those things you just you know. And I know society is going to try to tell us and try to dictate to us. Yes. But you know what? That's okay. That can. That can only last as long as I'm working in those hours. Okay, <laughs> when I leave that that, that establishment, yeah. things change. Amen. Yeah. Glory right. to God. Deuteronomy four nine says, "Only be careful and watch yourselves closely, so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen, or let them fade from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children." Yes. Mm -hmm and to their children after them. Moms will teach you some things, and I'm telling you, it will be with you the rest of your life. And some of y'all will say, well, I'm never going to be like my mother. I know. You better hope so. Pink already said, she says, you know what? She says, I'm going to homeschool my kids. Okay. I'm going to hold, why? Because of all, yeah, glory to God, give God some praise, amen? Because of all the stuff that's going on. But because her mother said, I'm going to homeschool my kids, okay? Her mom said, I'm going to homeschool my kids. So she has taken that. And she says, I'm going to homeschool my kids. Right? Didn't like it. Didn't want to be there, didn't want to do it, want to be out there with everybody else. But you know what? At the end of the day, you come to realize, you know what? It was worth it. Yeah. There was some value to it. Okay? I received something from it. And guess what? It really was not a bad thing. Okay? Really became a good thing. And I can do and I can choose to do that as well. Amen. Yeah. So I just want to share a few little scriptures that I just looked up here, sitting here. And thank God for all mothers here today who came yeah. and shared. Pastor DeLillian uses Pastor Linda quite a lot as an example in her message uh, because Pastor Linda uh, has no natural born children. But it doesn't mean that Pastor Linda has not raised a lot of children. Amen. Sure, yeah. She has raised a lot. When we came to this ministry, Pastor Linda was literally, okay, housing and taking care and budgeting grown people's money. 
Okay? She was doing the same thing that a mother would do for their children. Right. And the medication. Yeah. I mean, and, and so, you know, I applaud Sister Linda. I thank God for her. Because even Pastor Linda would call. Not too long ago, we had a situation. She called. All right, Pastor Ray, what's going on? So you call me to talk to me like a mother. Okay? Uh, you call you talking to me like a mother. Hold on. You know? That was Texas. Yeah. But it's okay. You know what? We were able to talk. We were able to share. And I was able to tell her some things. Amen? And she was able to understand. Yes. And she was able to say, okay, well, then you know what? Work it out. It's going to be okay. And you know what? Glory to God. It turned out to be okay. <laughs> Amen? Amen? So even Pastor Linda will mother me. And I appreciate that. Amen. I do. I appreciate that. I appreciate having somebody that can call and share and tell me straight. It's a good thing. Amen? We need mothers like that. It's not that you just have children. You just mother people Amen. because that's just what you do. Amen. Amen. So, glory to God. We love y'all. We bless y'all. We pray that every mother out there today, no matter what your situation, no matter what your circumstance, no matter what your problem is, we pray that today would be a great day for you. Amen. Amen. A great day. I sent Dr. Polis a message this morning to tell Dr. Rebecca yeah. we wish you a great Mother's Day today. Amen. 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 Pastor Derek, send him a message. Tell mom. Yeah. We said happy Mother's Day today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Pastor Larry, tell uh, uh, Pastor Denise, happy Mother's Day today. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Charles, tell Pastor Mary, we said happy Mother's Day today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We just pass it on. Glory to God. Yes. It ain't take but 10 minutes. Right. You know, you send in a message to them. Let them know you're thinking about them. Let them know you care. I hit my sister, told my sister, thank you for being there. Amen. Mother's Day. Today we celebrate it. Glory to God. And you know what I would say? I would say candy, flowers, perfume, all those things are great things. But do something out of the box. Okay? Amen. Just do something out of the box. Just, you know, something something different, okay? Uh, you know, I gave Pastor Delilian a check the other day. She gave it back, okay? She gave it back. She says, I got money. I want the money, okay? So, okay, glory to God. Give my money back, amen? So, praise God. Yeah, so it's all good, glory to God. So we thank God for this day, amen? Thank God for the opportunity to be here today. Hallelujah. Thank God Amen. to celebrate mothers. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Glory to God. Well, with all that said and done, that was our, this was our Mother's Day celebration. Glory to God. Um, we are still uh, celebrating what we call the Pentecost season as well. Amen. Amen. Yes. And uh, how many of y'all know mothers fit into Pentecost? Amen. 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 There was women, okay, in the upper room yes, with 120. Glory to God. And if you go back and you read Paul's writings, you'll find out that Paul had a lot of women that supported his ministry. As a matter of fact, Aquila and Priscilla set Paul down and taught Paul some things that he did not know. Amen. A husband and wife. She became a spiritual mother to him mm -hmm. and taught him some things, amen, that the other disciples couldn't teach him. But she did. They did together. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, glory to God. You're not too old. You're not too young. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I believe that everybody, everybody should have a natural mother in their life at some point, sometime, or a spiritual mother in their life as well. Amen. amen. So, we thank God for y'all joining in with us today here at Kingdom Life Ministries International. Next Sunday, uh, we'll be coming to you live at the same time, uh, but we'll be over at Bishop. Is it not next Sunday? 
It's not Pentecost Sunday next Sunday. No. Oh, Much okay. Kidding. Well, don't worry about it. I'll announce it next week then. Amen. <laughs> we'll be right here live with you, okay? Here at Kingdom Life Ministries International. Amen. See? You got two women. <laughs> Keeping me straight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because I'd be all someplace else. Amen. God bless you. Love you all. We'll see you next time here at Kingdom Life Ministries International in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. We're going to go out with a shout out to the Lord on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus! 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 Jesus. Jesus.